Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the logical learning platform. In this lecture, we will discuss graphical solution of linear programming problem with no solution. So, let us see the example. Here we have to minimize z 2x1 plus x2 and the constraints are x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 2, x1 minus 2x2 greater than or equal to 4. So, first we will convert these inequalities into equations and we will plot these equations in a two dimensional plane. So, first line x1 plus x2, x1 plus x2, this equal to 2. Suppose we have uh, two dimensional place like this x1 and x2. So, this to draw this line, we can find the coordinates of the point where it is passing through x1 axis and x2 axis. So, the point where it is passing through x1 axis, we will put x2 equal to 0. So, if you put x2 equal to 0, we will get x1 equal to 2. So, the coordinates of this point are 2 comma 0. So, this point 1 comma 2. So, this is 2 0. Next time the point where it is passing through x2 axis we will put x1 equal to 0. So, you will get x2 equal to 2. So, another point is 0 comma 2. So, this is the point 0 comma 2. So, through these two points this line is passing. Now, we can draw this line by joining these two points. Now, second line x1 minus 2x2 this equal to 4. So, x1 minus 2x2 equal to 4 again put x1 equal to 0 then you will get x2 equal to minus 2. So, 0 comma minus 2. So, 0 comma minus 2 means 0 minus 2 here x2 minus 2 1 2 in the negative direction. So, Next time if you put x2 equal to 0 then you will get x1 equal to 4. So, this point is 4 comma 0 and this point is 0 comma minus 2. So, this is 0 comma minus 2 4 0 point is 4 0 somewhere here. Now, we have the four points 2 points for this line 2 points for this line. Now, we can draw the straight lines. I have summarized all these points here. This line x1 plus x2 equal to 2 passing through 0 to 2 0. Now, if you look at this graph, this point is 2 0, this point is 2 0. So, b 2 comma 0 and a 0 2. This point is a 0 comma 2. So, if you draw the line, now this is the line. So, this line will be used second time. So, Next line is x1 minus 2 x2 equal to 4. This is the next line. Look at this 0 comma minus 2. So, this point is 0 comma minus 2. This point is C 0 comma minus 2. And this point is D 4 comma 0. So, this is the point D. And this point is C 0 comma minus 2. This is 4 comma 0. Now, we have only two lines. We have to find the solution space of these inequalities x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 2. Now, as I already told you, every line divides the space into two regions, one in this side, another in this side. So, we have to find the points where the solution lies. So, for this, you can choose any point of either side, either this side or this side. The easiest point is 0, 0. So, if we put 0, 0 here, you will get 0 plus 0 less than equal to 2. So, this is true. It means the region lies towards 0, 0. It means now we can mark this region using these arrows. Now, second line x1 minus 2x2 greater than equal to 4. So, this is the line. Here, for this line, you can write it x1 plus x2 equal to 2 and this line you can write it x1 minus 2 x2 equal to 4. Now, for this line the region is look at this again the simple easiest point is 0 0. If you put 0 0 here then you will get 0 plus 0 greater than equal to 4 which is false. False means the region lies opposite to this point that is towards these points here opposite to 0 0 means in this direction. So, this is the reason of this inequality. Now, we have to find the common reason. Now, look at this the reason the solution space of this line is only this part you can say this is the part of solution space of this line, but solution space of this line is 
this part so no common reason is there no feasible reason is there so simply you can write no feasible reason since no feasible reason is there means even as you cannot find a single point which is common in these two spaces so you can write no feasible solution therefore this problem will have no solution so you can write no solution so if you get this type of reasons means no feasible reason and simply you will write no solution so important thing is to draw the straight lines correctly and identify the reasons correctly if suppose if a small mistake in identifying reason will lead to incorrect answer so be careful while you draw the lines and identify the reasons so i hope that you got the concept of no solution if you are learning something from this lecture then please like and subscribe thank you